Hey, funny story about how old technology doesn't mesh correctly with new technology. I have a Rega RP3 and I've just ordered the PSU to manage the speed and the noise um, of my turntable. And the PSU apparently I can adjust the speed of the turntable platter, the RPM, how fast it turns. And of course, uh, the large records turn at 33 and a third, um, some turn at 45. So I wanted to be able to measure that in order to adjust it so that it's dead nuts accurate. Now you can buy some of these uh, RPM uh, meters on Amazon for $30, $40, and I see a lot of people using them, but I also see in the comments that they're kind of all over the map at the $30, $40, $60 range. So there's an old way of doing it. It's called a stroboscope disc, which is what you see here. And it's made up uh, for two 50 hertz, 60 hertz um, on the inner ring, 50 hertz on the outer ring. And basically each of these rows here, okay, so this row is represented of 33 and a third calibration. This is 45 RPM calibration and 78 calibration. And the way it works is, is that when you put this on your turntable and you set it to 33 and a third, when you're turning, you should be able to see these bars like they are not moving. These will be moving, these will be moving, these should not be moving. If they're moving to the right or to the left, slowly, it means that you're slightly off the RPM of 33 and a third. So you wanna make some adjustments. So like, I ordered this from Amazon in preparation because I should get my PSU in a couple of days. And um, basically, um, I put it on my turntable to see, you know, how accurate it was. Because I've changed my belt, I think, a year ago. So um, I put it on there to see how accurate it was. And let's have a look, okay? So I couldn't see anything. Like, if I stop this, it's, it's kind of, you can barely see it. But, and you can see it almost now when I'm looking at the video. But... With my eyes at the time, it was like one big blur. And I was wondering why it was so difficult to see. And I used to do this in the 70s, and I don't remember it being that difficult. Mind you, my eyes have changed. So I tried looking at it with my computer glasses, my reading glasses. I tilted, I upped, and it made no difference. And I couldn't figure out why. Well, <laughs> After just a little bit of research, I found out the culprit. All my lights in my house, of course, are LED. So LEDs are like mini strobe lights. They just strobe really quickly. So what I needed was the old-fashioned incandescent light bulb. And, uh, of course, um, luckily in my store, they had a whole row of lights, but one little section for incandescent light bulbs to be used in construction devices because they apparently last long and are rigid and tough. So I bought one, it was about $6, and I brought it home. And basically, you can actually see the difference. So here is the difference. So now, if I pause this, okay, you can see how clear it is now when I pause it, but you can also see this is the ring I'm measuring here, okay? See my mouse? And you can see it's moving ever so slightly clockwise, right? So that should be adjusted. So when I get my PSU, I'll be able to adjust this so that these don't move clockwise, that they stay still. And then I would switch it on to 45 speed, and then the middle ones should stay still. So that's how it works. But interesting enough, if you bought one of these and you're trying to figure out it, it's difficult, um, to, to use, it isn't. It just needs an incandescent light bulb. And today, most all our lights are fluorescent, LEDs, and so on. So, interesting little fact of the day.